There are three different control options available for the unit. Built-in, tethered controller, and a remote control. Here is the on-off switch, which provides power to the unit. Next are a series of buttons, the first of which is standby. This button turns the flame effect on or puts the unit in standby mode. The second button is the Bluetooth button, which wirelessly connects the remote to the unit itself. The third button is test mode. This is primarily a button used for professionals who are troubleshooting the unit. The next two buttons control the flame intensity. The last two buttons increase or decrease the volume of the fire crackle sound. The remote, which is shown here, and the tethered controller work a little bit differently. The standby button works the same as on the unit itself. The volume control turns the volume on or off. The middle two buttons control whether the heater is on or off when connected to a Pro Box accessory. The flame intensity buttons operate the same. Again, the tether controller works the same as the remote, but the buttons are in different spots. Now let's synchronize the remote with the unit. Make sure the tether remote is fully attached. First step is to flip the on-off switch to the on position and push the standby button to get the unit up and running. If the tether is properly connected, a red light will glow behind the buttons. Next, push the Bluetooth button on the unit itself. Within 20 seconds of pressing the Bluetooth button, push any button on the remote. If the synchronization was successful, the unit will blink five times and the unit will go into standby. As you can see, the unit is now synchronized with the remote control. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about the Optimus Pro series.